My brother looks at my bookshelf and sees a regular piggy bank. I see a story. Last year I took part in a project known as Lovejoy, where a small group of five drama students, myself included, taught special needs students how to act and perform on stage. We helped them write and stage a play. I was paired with a nonverbal and physically impaired student named Haim. I was nervous. What will he be like? How will we communicate? Will this even work out? Haim turned out to be one of the most inspiring humans I have ever met. He's immensely creative, but doesn't have the means to communicate due to his condition. Even though we had assistance from the teachers, it was hard to get Haim to open up about himself and his interests. The play is about the dreams of special needs students, things they dreamed they could do or that they loved doing. After multiple weeks with Haim, he started to open up around me and feel comfortable. I felt his trust in me, which gave me this enormous sense of pride that Haim would choose me as a friend. He would communicate with me through a typed speech app on his iPad. Haim would tell me about his 10 siblings, his family, his favorite beach, and what he loves most about school. After about three weeks of getting to know each other, we had to come up with an idea for our section of the play. What is Haim's dream? Haim decided that he wanted his dream section to be about the moment the stay-at-home order was lifted and he was able to take the bus back to school and see all his friends. After another three weeks of writing and rehearsing it, it was time to perform. Next was the thing I was most worried about. Haim was shy. It took a while for Haim to get comfortable around me, so I was worried what would happen if we put him in front of a full house of 300 people. Before the show, he typed that he was nervous on his iPad and that he didn't want to go on stage. I told him that he'll do great and that all these people came to see him perform. So he pushed forward and managed to perform in front of a live audience of peers and guests. What inspires me most is Haim's optimism and positivity. Haim has faced so many struggles and hardships, things that others can't even comprehend and at such a young age, yet he is always smiling. Haim changed my outlook on my own life, my own opportunity, my own privilege. He taught me that no matter what, you can still smile, even in light of a bad situation. Haim and his family gave me a piggy bank as a gift, with the instructions to insert money and donate to someone in need or a charity once it is full, so we can spread the love and positivity.